Did you know that the Soviet Union had a space shuttle program? Today I want to tell you about something that most people have never heard of. The Buran spacecraft, a Soviet answer to the American space shuttle. In the midst of the Cold War, the Soviet Union embarked on an ambitious project to develop a reusable space plane. This spacecraft, named Buran, meaning snowstorm, was designed to rival the United States space shuttle program. The Buran program began in the 1970s, with construction starting in 1980. The spacecraft was built to be launched on the Soviet Union's super heavy lift vehicle, the Energia rocket, which could lift 100,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit. This combination made it one of the most powerful launch systems ever created. On November 15, 1988, Buran made its maiden and only flight. Unlike the American shuttle, Buran's first mission was uncrewed and fully automated. This successful mission was a significant achievement, showcasing the advanced capabilities of Soviet engineering and automated spaceflight. Buran completed two orbits around Earth before executing a fully automated landing. This was an unprecedented feat at the time, demonstrating the spacecraft's sophisticated guidance and control systems. The landing accuracy was impressive, bringing Buran safely back to the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Buran was equipped with 38,600 carbon-carbon heat shielding tiles, designed to withstand the intense heat of re-entry multiple times. This technology was critical for the spacecraft's reusability, similar to the tiles used on the U.S. Space Shuttle. The Energia rocket, which launched, was an engineering marvel in its own right. It was designed to carry both the Buran spacecraft and other heavy payloads, including large space station modules and interplanetary probes. Unfortunately, only two Energia rockets were ever launched. The Buran was envisioned to have a versatile role in space missions, from satellite deployment to space station resupply and maintenance. It was also capable of carrying large cargo and potentially crew members to and from space. Although the Buran program was short-lived, its development contributed significantly to the Soviet space program. The technology and knowledge gained from Buran influenced future Russian space endeavors, including contributions to the International Space Station. Buran was equipped with advanced avionics and computer systems, allowing it to perform automated dockings and landings. This was a significant technological leap, showcasing the Soviet Union's expertise in space navigation and control. Despite its promising start, the Buran program faced numerous challenges, including high costs and the collapse of the Soviet Union. The program was officially canceled in 1993. Tragically, in 2002, the only Buran orbiter to reach space was destroyed when the roof of its storage hangar at the Baikonur Cosmodrome collapsed. However, the research and technology developed for Buran didn't go to waste. They laid the groundwork for future Russian spacecraft and significantly influenced the design of space station modules, benefiting international space cooperation. The legacy of the Buran program lives on, a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of Soviet space engineers. While it flew only once, Buran demonstrated that the Soviets could match, and in some cases, exceed the capabilities of their American counterparts. This incredible spacecraft continues to inspire space enthusiasts and engineers around the world. Thanks for watching. So now you know the American Space Shuttle has an estranged Russian cousin. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and you know the rest.